everyone. So today I'm going to be walking you through how you create an online digital notebook with a tabbing option. Um, so I've already kind of uh, explained how you can create a digital notebook, a basic one from scratch in my previous video, which I will link in the description down below. Um, in that video, I went over how you can create a basic notebook, how you can customize it and how, and how you can use it in your own course. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest that you do watch it first. And this is kind of like a modified feature or um, an extra step uh, of how you can customize digital notebooks and add a tab feature. Um, the reason why you might want to add a tab feature is because you might want to have the students um, access different units within the same interactive digital notebook. You might want them to access different um, activities. There's different ways how you can customize it. Um, it's really up to you. I'm going to be showing you how you can create one from scratch and how you can modify it and use it. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you are on Google um, Slides. You want to open a new Google Slides document and then you're going to um, resize the page so it fits uh, or it's kind of like in a standard page shape or dimensions. If you want to keep it as a slide um, or this kind of size and shape, that's really up to you. But for me, I prefer having it in the standard page dimension. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on File, Page Setup down here, and I'm going to change the dimensions. So I'm going to click on Custom and 8.5 by 11, which is a standard page um, size of, I guess, US page size. I think that's what it's called. And then I'm going to click on OK. All right, now that the page has been resized, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a title or a front page for the online notebook. I've already created one on Canva and I'll make this um, template available for you guys if you'd like to use it. Um, if you haven't, if you don't know what Canva is, I highly recommend that you do check it out. You can create amazing designs like this one. And for the most part, it's free. It's very easy to use. There's so many options and um, it's a great tool to kind of get accustomed to because it, it's it been super useful for me to, to, to use in, in the classroom and to create kind of um, my own resources. Now, if you don't want to use this cover page that I've created and you'd like to learn how to make your own, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. In order to create your own uh, or similar looking t cover page from scratch, we're going to create a new slide. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these text boxes because I don't really need them right now. And I'm going to be utilizing the shapes um, that are present here. And for the tabs, my favorite to use is this one, um, the corner rectangle, I guess that's what it's called. And I'm going to create something that looks like that. And you can obviously recolor it as you please. Uh, next, I'm going to simply copy this and paste it just so I have multiple tabs and you can add as many tabs as you would like. Um, for the uh, title box, I guess, I'm going to create a, a, or utilize another shape. I wanna, I'm going to utilize this rectangle right here. And okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this just so it's a bit centered because my OCD self is like, no. Okay. I highly recommend that you uh, download the following add-on. It's known as Extensus Fonts, and it has so many options for fonts that you can use on Google Slides. Um, obviously, Google Slides has its own set of fonts, but Extensus Fonts has a huge variety and a lot more options. If you're someone that cares about the way your resources look like, I tend to like I, this is this is where I have my most fun. Okay, um, so this is a great uh, resource to have, and uh, as you can see, there are so many options for uh, different fonts that you can kind of uh, use. And the cool thing is, once you have um, once you have this downloaded and used, it's it remains in your font choices, so it will stay here. So let me go ahead and write my digital notebook. And this can be any title that you want. It doesn't have to say that. It's really up to you. And as you can see, it makes it into this nice script font. Now, usually I like to have a little title and then at the bottom, um, I, would, I would leave some room for students to add their names. So this is going to be fully editable by the students just so that they can actually add their names. And if, they, if you want them to add your course, um, you can instruct them to 
Okay, the last thing you might want to add is some designs or extra aesthetic elements. In order to do that, you'll go down here where it says explore. And I noticed when you search for something, so let's say like flower, if you add the word PNG and you go to images, it'll give you options that don't have a background. And that way, when you place them onto your notebook or onto whatever research you have here, it'll look more professional. Or let's do pencil PNG, for example just to make it more school friendly. All right, so you see how, um, oops, you see how the image does not have a background, it has a transparent background. Again, now you kind of get an idea how you can create your own title page from scratch using just Google um, Slides. And if you don't want to do that, if you wanna use the template that I've made, I will include that in the description box. And then down here in this box, I would add a text box above this so that the students can write your name their name and you can add the course the date etc so this is where the students would add their name so that <clears throat> it's more customized for them just like you would do with a regular physical notebook all right now let's talk about the tabs we've already added the tabs whether you're using my canva um, template or you've created your own what are these tabs? How will they work? Now, let's assume that this notebook has um, a few pages and um, each page is a certain activity or each page is a certain unit or topic or month. It's really up to you how you want to do this and how you want to instruct your students to do this. All right, so how can we utilize these tabs? Let's say that you want to group these tabs or group the additional pages of this notebook by activity. So let's say that I have my students do bell work oops, uh, often. So I can have a section for bell work. Um, that way when it comes for me to grade their notebooks and for the students to do uh, a bell work related activity, all they would have to do is click on that tab and it will take them to the section of this digital notebook that deals with bell work. Let's say that another activity that they do is uh, KWL charts. Like that's something we always do, for example. Another thing I use very frequently is claim evidence reasoning. So that could be another section and so on and so forth. You, you kind of get the idea about what I'm going for here. A nice thing to do for your students or to instruct the students to do is to have a title page for each of the activities or um, tabs that you're going to be creating. So for example, all the um, pages, I'm gonna use the word pages. And when I say pages, I mean slides. All the pages that are gonna be relating to bell work will go after this main title page. Let me create one and then hopefully it will be, make a bit more sense. This means that since this kind of um, main title page is on slide three, okay, all you have to do is then go back to your main front page of this digital notebook and I'm gonna click on the word bell work. Let me zoom in again so you can see better. Click on the word bell work or this text box and we're gonna click here insert link and instead of um, clicking a link I'm gonna click down here slides in this presentation and I'm gonna choose slide 3 apply all right basically um, when we are on present mode or when the student is on present a uh, present mode all they have to do is click on up here bell work and it will take them or it will take me directly to the bell work section now obviously when the student if you are assigning this notebook um, for the entire let's say unit or the entire semester even or maybe even the entire year this will have a lot of pages you don't want to sit there and go through each slide by slide trying to find the most recent bell work the student has done for you to grade it that's going to be way too time consuming way too confusing you don't want that kind of um extra time when grading you want to be as efficient as possible so if you have a tab that takes you directly to that bell work section you can instruct your students to always put the most recent bell work submission um, right after so when it's time for them to do the bell work assignment they would add a new slide 
and that way it's right there right after the um the 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 title page of or or the section bell work next we're gonna have to create another title page for the kwl section and the uh, claim evidence reasoning section we don't need to work hard all we have to do is copy the pre-existing title page and paste it and then rename this um, kwl and then um, i'm going to do the same thing again copy paste and I'm going to re rename this CER or Claim Evidence Reasoning. Uh, we will go back and we will add the, uh, or we're going to link the following uh, text box to the KWL title page. So that's going to be on slide six, as you can see over here. So I'm going to insert link and I'm going to choose slides from this presentation, slide six. Apply. Notice how this went all blue, okay? The words themselves became a link while here it didn't. That's because um, what I did here is I highlighted the word and I linked to the word itself. While here, I highlighted the text box and I linked to the text box, not the words inside of it. So if you don't wanna see the words become blue and underlined, like looking like an actual link, then um, what you would do is you would click on the text box instead of the word. Okay, instead of highlighting the word, we would click on the text box and we would insert a link there. Now, one additional thing that I would like to suggest just to make grading a little bit easier for you is to have a um, button on here that would take you back to the main page or to the front page on each of these sections. So um, to do that, you just really have to create any shape call it return to front page. Okay, and I'm gonna link it back to slide one. So we're gonna do the same thing. Insert, link, slide one. And I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna copy it and put it on every other section that I've created. How will this look like when you're finally ready to grade it? The students will get this and you will instruct them that after every main section or main activity page, they're going to add their additional slides. Okay, and they can do that all throughout the year, all throughout the semester, as long as they have access to this digital notebook. Um, so when it comes down to grading it, you're going to go on to present mode and you're going to click on the first section. And you're just going to click next and that way you will have the most recent submission right there ready for you to grade. When it's time for you to return back, instead of clicking escape and kind of like fumbling through the slides, um, which again, we're trying to not waste time here, you're just going to click on the button they've created, return to front page, and it will take you back to the front page where, where then you could go to the KWL section to grade that. As you can see, adding the tabs is going to make your life a lot easier when it, if you are um, including multiple activities or multiple sections in this notebook. Just like you would do in a physical notebook, you would have students add dividers in their, um, in their notebooks, or sometimes you'd have them add dividers in their um, binders, right? Um, to make your life easier when it's time to grade and locate these resources for both you and the students. Um, adding tabs into your digital notebooks is going to make life a lot easier, a lot more organized for your students and for yourself when it's time to grade. Now again, you can customize these tabs in so many different ways. You can have them days of the week, you can have them units, you can have them um, different activities. Again, this is entirely up to you. If you can come up with um, interesting or new ideas, please feel free to share them. I'd love to hear uh, from you. Um, but that's about it. If you have any questions, as usual, please let me know. I hope this was helpful. If you found this helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to see more of these tutorials and these videos. Have a great day. Hey.